So another thing I'm going to be touching on are special items. Um, one of these special items would be a knife, a survival knife. Not anything like a little pocket knife or anything like that, but something a little bit bigger that will do a little bit more for you. This is my survival knife. As you can see, it's very, it's a little bit bigger. It's still lightweight. Um, has a steel handle and there's a few other features to it the handle is actually hollow so that way you can actually store stuff in it and it comes with a little lanyard um, normally these do come with a pouch so that way you can actually put it right on your belt if need be so that way you don't have to worry about it being on your backpack or in your pack and it's something you can actually attach right to your body um, whether it be on a belt loop or a, an actual belt, um, something like this would be very beneficial as far as survival skill goes. Um, this can actually be used for both hiking or camping. Um, it's, pro it's a little bit more useful when you're actually out camping due to the fact that you're going to need to be cutting stuff down or um, something like that. That way, having a survival knife, you're more apt to actually do things a little bit more comfortable. Um, as far as hiking goes, you're probably going to want to use it to make landmarks. So that way you know where you've been and some it'll be something identifiable. So that way you know you're not going around in circles or you know marking something where you've been before. So that way it's like, hey, I've been here before, we want to go a certain direction. So having a survival knife, very beneficial. So another specialty item to actually have on your pack will be rope. Um, it comes in different sizes and lengths. Um, here's one of the ropes that I do have. I do have a couple of carabiners hooked to it just for safety measures. Um, that way, if I need it, I can use it. It's very heavy duty. Um, like I said, they're, they come in different shape in different sizes, different lengths, and they come in different strengths too. Um, as far as weight capacities that they can handle. Um, this would be very good, especially if you're out hiking and you come up on something steep, you're going to want to use that rope to tether to something just in case you end up falling and you know something happens it will catch you versus not having a rope and causing injury such as you know getting bumps and bruises to breaking a bone or anything worse um, having a rope will be very beneficial in a lot of aspects not only hiking but also camping um, this will also help with hauling and moving things, um, especially hanging something up like wet clothes or even making a shelter. Um, so with ropes, it can be very versatile from hiking and getting you out of situations that you probably wouldn't be able to get out without a rope or even the camping aspects as far as making sure you have the right materials and anything else that you would need. Um, it wouldn't hurt to have a couple of different types of rope just so that way if you need to you can actually make a walking wire or something like that so that way you can actually make sure you're going up and you do say if you slip it'll catch you so having rope is very beneficial in so many different aspects so that is one thing that I would say would be a must for a specialty item to have